I mean, from every single level, it's way, way easier for women to get laid than men. I, an average-looking woman, a 5 out of 10, could walk into a club, pick up a guy, a 5 out of five guy, a five out of 10 guy would it's have true. to try really, really hard. And here's the thing. When something comes easy, it is oftentimes there's less respect assigned to it. But whereas for guys, if they need to really work on that, hard work is rewarded. So just based on that simple premise alone, a woman who sleeps with a lot of guys that came easy, therefore it's not respected. A man who slept with a lot of women, generally he needs to work on his character, he needs to work on his hygiene, his appearance, his status, his accolades, his career, everything in order to be at the same level as that five or six out of ten girl. What do you consider therefore, hard work? buying women drinks and talking to them no raising their caliber as a man so a high value man meaning like working on his physicality being fit and healthy working on his hygiene uh you know making a good a, a sum of money right, right, right um high value men do not call themselves high, high value, value men well i, I didn't i didn't just say that, that wasn't the prerequisite of what i just I meant, said i was i know i'm just saying but, i'm just saying but you're stating general. that men have to work on all these things in order to get laid and that is completely false well often, as she was saying well, i mean unless so they're a porn star talking, with a huge dick right i'm talking what was she You're saying? Talking. Go ahead. Go so ahead. So she was saying that she knows plenty of men that also have rosters. I know more men with very rosters few than men. I, I very know. Few I know men. way more men that have rosters than yeah. women that have okay, rosters. Okay, but but okay. Or I don't you, have a roster. Okay, but <laughs> the fact you could. <laughs> I know three men. If that you do. know, if you know a hundred men that have rosters, a hundred men out of the entire male population is a very very small proportion of men. If you had to attribute a percentage to the amount of men who could easily just have a roster of women. What percentile would you give it? Would you say 10% of men can do that? 20% of men can do that? Would you say 50% of men can do that? Would you say 100% of men can do that? I mean, obviously not 100. I think 100 is kind of ridiculous. But I mean, how many women you do you know 50, that have rosters? Would you say, it's, it's, they okay. could. That's, that's the, the thing. It's capability. Capability, sure. But I mean, I, Whether I, you, I think that probably as long as a man is actually putting in any sort of effort at all, they could you, probably get a roster. Have, are you serious? You think? Yeah, well, I how, genuinely how believe would you, Girl, you're delusional. No, how? no, no, no. Men yeah. need to work so hard. I, on I, what it planet? Girl, on what there, planet? If, um, if you are a decent yeah, looking, if you are halfway decent, decent looking, decent looking. Met, no, I, no, 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 decent looking. Not, not even I decent looking. Yeah, I've met some ugly, ugly dudes that have, yeah, that have been pulling. I've met some ugly right dudes right that yeah, have been pulling. Pulling. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's all based oh on personality, God. right? Yeah. Like I women, women still have to have a semi decent personality ninety nine percent of the time. All the wild. I would say that attraction does contribute contribute to it though and uh, and it could be true that men do have to work harder in some circumstances especially it, if they're it could be it is true it is yeah that's what i meant it, like, is, true. it, it is true that they Simple have to work fact. harder because, i don't know I don't, yeah. if they, okay if hold on a couple questions really here a couple questions really. here has a guy ever made you wait for sex yeah actually more well okay all right here's yeah generally 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 speaking yeah, who's making who wait for sex Men, I, mean, I think it depends I'm on the situation. Sleepy. That goes it back depends. to what I said oh earlier. Oh, my God, bro. It, yeah, yeah, that goes back to what I said earlier about women hold, like, we... What's, like, the stupid lock and the gatekeeper? Thing? Oh, my God. Yeah, I hate that analogy. Yeah, women were the gatekeeper. Of, that's what, it's like, true. the... Yeah. Okay, I also, how do you explain if, if, it, if it is the case that men have... Just to just clarify your position, you think it's mm -hmm. about equal between men and women when it comes to the ease or simplicity with which they can secure uh, sex. You say it's about equal? Yeah. Equal? Absolutely. Okay, so how do you explain the incel phenomenon, which is exclusive in men? I mean, there's fem cells. Yeah, it's there's like <laughs> it is literally impossible for a woman to be involuntarily celibate. I mean, it is impossible. Have you been on TikTok? Yeah, that's <laughs> not involuntary. What? Involuntarily celibate. There, so there like are an women. Incel. Okay, so you, and she incels, could argue. Incels she could, don't go out and actually speak to women. I mean, like they sure literally they hate they women. Think they, do, they think they're like they deserve sex. That's what yeah. they think. Not no. all incels. Yes, yes. yes, yes so what's it the is. true definition of an incel? Okay, incel is short for involuntarily celibate. So despite desiring, wanting to have sex, you are incapable of having sex. Now, there are women who are voluntarily celibate. For example, like also. she's voluntarily celibate. If she was so inclined, and for, for religious reason, mm -hmm. if she was so inclined, she could get sex tonight. Right. I mean, but these men, literally, if What's you're that? going and actually speaking no, to these men, oh, okay. they have like no actual interest in going out and talking to a woman. It's not necessarily true. A lot of people who are incels uh, be become 
bitter, I'd say, from their interactions with women mm-hmm. because they did go out and they experienced something really shitty. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, okay. they're are the the, the, I, the yeah. villain. Let me so know. so I, men have called themselves oh accountable. No, 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 no. I, here, here. I never said that women are the villain. I think you just love to misconstrue my words. I'm saying that women could be fem cells too. You mentioned them too. I think that experiences with the opposite gender do affect the way that you perceive them, obviously, and like your interactions. I wouldn't say that incels and fem cells are entirely socially inept or entirely like devoid of social interaction in general i'd say that okay let me let me ask everyone a question here all the women at the table here a question let's say tomorrow you wake up let's assume some of you let's just say everyone's single here if you were so inclined do you think with 100 percent certainty if your mission for that day was i want to have sex i want to get laid do you think you'd be able to do it? Yeah. Yes. With, yes. with 100% certainty. Yes. Yes. So that's the difference. <laughs> Only a woman can wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to get laid today with all certainty and have it come true. <laughs> Sometimes I say that and I, that doesn't happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, if, as a woman, you download a dating app or you go out to a bar or you even just approach a guy with certainty, if you wanted it, you could get laid 100%. Whereas like most dudes, even though a good looking dude, it's not a given he's going to get laid if he like goes out to a bar or a club or he's on a dating app. I mean, dating app, I I think dating app, like, because it's harder for men to get laid. I think you absolutely could. I mean, I see women that are looking for hookups on dating apps all the time. Right. But with perhaps with a certain tier of men. And also I like another thing I would add, there has to be some degree of planning, like any of you, even though it's Sunday, it's fucking late as fuck, any of you could probably hop on Tinder right now, <laughs> tonight, and fuck a dude tonight. I don't care how attractive the dude is, there's like no, no chick, it's gonna be extremely difficult for a dude to hop on Tinder on a Sunday at fucking midnight. I don't care how hot he is and fuck a chick that night. There's gonna have to be some planning, it's not I mean, going to just go down ways, like that. Though. I mean, like, if I go on Tinder, I'm going to have to plan that with the guy. <laughs> yeah, but, but if, you're, if you were open to same night, like, if you were pushing for the same night, you could get it. Whereas it's not a you, like, guarantee you could probably get it. Whereas it's not a guarantee for men. Yeah, can I guy. say something? Yeah. Real life experiences. I have two really close friends of mine who are guys, and they have the hardest time finding a woman even just to have sex Boom. one of them has been celibate Beautiful. for four years huh? and he's a decent he's a decent dude Aww. he's on the spectrum but he's like a really decent guy and he struggles even my other friend he's six foot four an attractive oh, dude oh, damn. has Humble an amazing job six, and he hasn't gotten laid in a year what? that's how you know Wait, can you you show me, okay <laughs> can you show me photos after the show Absolutely. just so i can see but th- you did mention he's not one of the guys is not neuro- neurotypical that's yeah. another point i would add if a guy is like uh, not neurotypical they're also dis- like a woman who's not neurotypical she's even not gonna have an issue getting laid whereas a dude who's maybe a little you know whatever whatever yeah, he's gonna like, str- I'm he's like gonna like severely and stub- I bagged a chag, bro. sorry see take it from the horse's mouth like literally like i'm rarded as fuck bro like you're not retarded you're, no, you're no, actually no, very no, small. no i have autism yeah, no, yeah have but autism. it's oh. honestly <laughs> hilarious <laughs> thanks you're really funny thank you i have yeah i i'm i'm rarded but, Wait, uh, what about the bus? Tell us about the bus. The bu- no, I'm not saying about Tell the bus. About the bus. Not, Tell us about no, the bus. No, I'm not talking about the bus. The, oh, the fucking short bus, bro. The fucking short bus. They, they, they put me on that for like a hot minute, but then they realized I was like functioning. So like they said, nah, you can take the normal one. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. No, but seriously, like I've seen like, like I made friends with this autistic guy like like over my Japan trip because it was study abroad and like I saw the way people like interact like like treated him like they're like oh my god this guy's fucking weird bro like and other people are like oh that's so endearing her autism like oh she's so <laughs> whatever like oh poor little thing poor little thing but they're like oh my god bro that fucking Jake bro he's fucking weird as shit bro like like hide your kids bro like Jake is fucking weird like I, there's like it, it just I don't know like, I definitely see the way the autistic men are treated. I'm like, oh, shit, that could have been It's me, rough out bro. there for... for look, m- men with any sort of physical disability or disfigurement or detect- detectable neurodivergence are rarely treated with any measure of interest. But that's not so for most women. Mm-hmm. Like, a woman, a woman in a wheelchair could... 
could oh my god is that inappropriate is that inappropriate could she could she could what's it called when the when you scoot in a wheelchair pedal you oh, could could run not run right. circles around men is that in, did I, did I just cancel? Am I canceled? They Skirt. call that a uh, crippy with a grippy. What the fuck, bro? Don't say that shit. Don't say that shit. Um, no, but could wheel a, a woman in a wheelchair? Could wheel around a guy who's not in a wheelchair in terms of getting laid? Wheelchair chick get some get a, a new some new dick every night of the week. She I'm just saying. It? I'm just saying. Listen. Can't can she feel it though if she's paralyzed from the waist down? She, no. She's got like. Let's just say she's like her. She's, you know. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Canceled. Um, Canceled. Okay. Good times. Good times. Look. Okay. So you think it's easier for men? I didn't say easier. Okay. It, you think it's, it's equivalent? Equal. It's equivalent. When can I go home? Hundred percent equivalent. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost done. Almost done. My rides are getting. My ride is getting name. patient. Man. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, they're outside. They're waiting. <laughs> Hold on. Ba- uh, yeah, I, I, do, I want to play Sekiro. I know. I, I want to go home and play Sekiro. Have a nice pizza. Wait. Okay. I so, love Sekiro. So what's Shout up? Out. What's up? I, w- I mean, I would say fairly equivalent. I, you know, maybe after listening, I could, on. But I think, I think part of the issue is that if it is a little bit more difficult for men to have sex with women, is partially their own fault because of the standards that they perpetuate onto women. What? Yeah, because women are going to be less likely to want to have casual sex because they know they're, they know they're going to be shamed for it later on. So, I mean, there are a lot of women that are very, their standards are so high because they're like, I have to add, every body I have to add has to count. You think that's, you think that's the only standard that women has? No, not at all. I didn't say that's the only standard that women have, but when we have these podcasts or there's these thousands of podcasts of men being like, oh, well, that body count's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Women are going to be less inclined to open up and want to have casual sex unless the men man that they're talking to is like top tier like 100 percent their body's going to be worth adding to their account because they know they're going to get shamed for it later wait so i think women would be more inclined to have casual sex if men weren't so critical oh so you're arguing on our side now you're now you're saying no i'm oh, saying okay. i still Here's believe it i said if Here's it's slightly more difficult for them i would say that that would potentially be that's why. one well i mean couldn't it be the case that in general women are more picky and more selective and have higher standards I mean, not necessarily. I mean, there's, a again, evolutionary and biological reasons for this. I do feel like a lot of guys will sleep with anything. <laughs> yeah, so. I, yeah, I would agree yeah, with that. Men, yeah. men will sleep down, but, like, you, you could say, for example, they've done studies on this, or mm-hmm. they've released the, the data from dating apps. Women swipe no on, like, the vast majority of men, and women will frequently rank, say, women find, like, 80 to 90% of men as unattractive. Here we. I mean, we could go around the table. What percentage of men do you find attractive? On? So true. I do not find. <laughs> it takes me forever <laughs> to find an attractive guy. Like literally every two and a half. But years. you just said you like guys who are kind of frumpy or whatever. Yeah, but like <laughs> to find to her, one to find one where I'm just like, oh my gosh, like to, for me to really like someone. You want okay? to find a frumpy, hot, ugly guy? I think yeah, I love ugly. That makes sense. Dreaded. Yes, Probably. ugly hot dudes are a thing. Oh, okay. hot like ugly like dudes GTA. are a thing. Well, it's like the medium <laughs> ugly standard GTA. that women talk about all the time they're like oh i love medium ugly guys yeah it's pretty good like that's a thing that women are like i love a medium ugly guy i also i don't physical looks have never been that big of a proponent to me personally i'm did a guy shorter than you i have dated men shorter than me yeah is that your preference is that ideal then um no it's definitely not my preference but i like i said earlier looks have never been a really high proponent to me i find people a lot more attractive when i get to know them most people that I find like physically attractive off rip, um, I gen- generally end up not liking. Like, people become more attractive to me as I get to know them and like okay. get to know that they get to know their good qualities. Okay. All right. Well, we have Alvarez here. Alpha men don't call themselves alpha men. Yet fifty percent of men call themselves alpha men. And I what? guess fifty percent of men aren't alpha men. <laughs> I don't know if have they done a study on the frequency with which men call themselves alphas. I've never, <laughs> I've never heard of that. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like th- this idea that it's equivalent, equivalent. It just boggles my mind that, that I. You know what will make you feel better? Food. 
That is deep. I'm, I'm rather tired okay. too. I, I wish I could argue about this all night <laughs> with, wrap, with all of you. Let's wrap it up. We'll do a part two. Like, I feel like yeah, we could do. We can definitely. A mukbang. We can definitely do. Oh yeah. Yeah. We should do a mukbang. Microsoft came up. We have the microphone for it. Yeah. PlayStation. Here, last last little train of conversation here. Zip it. Zip it good. Okay. Um, generally speaking, like, do you ever approach guys? Yeah. I, well, I used to. Guys? I used to all the time. Generally speaking, though, like, who has to initiate the first date, men or women? I mean, on, I mean, like, I think men expect okay. themselves to have to, but do, I would do, initiate the first date a lot of times. If, <laughs> if you had to assign a percentage in terms of who's initiating first dates, what would you say? Would you say it's 50-50? Like, 50% 50 of the time, women initiate first dates? Definitely not. I would definitely say that men are initiating for states is, a lot higher than women are. Is having to initiate something, does that add a level of difficulty to something? I mean, yeah, but if you're talking about dating and casual sex, those are two very different things. Well, don't, I mean, isn't that sort I mean, of the like, same thing? I mean, not really. Like, going on dates and actually pursuing someone is a lot different than going to a bar or going to a club and trying to just, like, hook and up then, with the first hot piece of so, ass you so find. If, Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If I go to a bar or mm -hmm. a club, right, um, and I just stand there. Do you think I'm getting approached by any chicks? <laughs> Probably not, but I don't. Ah. <laughs> okay, so what do I have to do if I want to get laid? I'm, I'm Talk to people. Right, so. I have to approach, right? I mean, a woman would approach you, depending on the scenario, but I mean, women, if you're just women standing don't really, there awkwardly. No, I not, mean, I used to work awkwardly. at a nightclub and I would approach men. Okay, that's great, but generally speaking, women don't approach men in nightclubs. Mm. I mean, I, I don't. I okay, don't you do. True. Congratulations, but like I'm not saying speaking, just me. I mean, like I, I was a bottle server look, and I okay, watch you, it happen all the time. Well, you, the as a bottle server, things. you not me. I'm saying I would one. witness it in a club setting of women going up to men, I probably that, just to I, drink from their well, bottle. But like at the same sure. time, if they're still approaching them. Okay, but here's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. You put a guy in a club. There's a good chance that like he's just standing there. He's not being awkward, but he's just kind of you know got a drink at the bar, or whatever. He's just mm -hmm. sipping, whatever. Nobody's coming to talk to him. You put a girl in that same exact scenario. Some dude, like she's getting approached. You're just mad that I'm girls not are mad. prettier. Oh, can I go I'm home? I'm not mad. Oh. I'm not mad. Hold on, hold on. We're about sound, to wrap. You sound jealous. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not jealous, but no, I'm just you arguing. Sound jealous. I'm not jealous. I don't know, I just want to say. I, I, I mean, to be jealous. fair, that is why they have strip clubs where, like, you know, the time. dancers will approach the man at the bar and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, I get what you're saying. I still think yeah, that the I, Metal like, Gear franchise is, like, I, I don't know. I, I get like what you're saying. and <laughs> <laughs> I get what you're Shut saying, but I think up. that... <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> not you, not you. Her, her over here. She's <laughs> fucking talking about anime and shit. No, I'm talking about Metal Gear. That's not anime, bro. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I'm Can we just... Like, I'm getting to... Yeah. yeah. So I think that the last two Metal Gear games weren't as good as the other ones. I think wow, Metal that's Gear beautiful. 2 and 3... That's Honestly. a great thought. Okay, yeah. so yeah. you get approached but, but in the I bar. Jet Stream Sam, though, who, so. who typically who goes for the first kiss? Men usually. Okay, so then who like tries to maybe move things forward in terms of oh you should come over to my place? Is that gonna be the the guy or the girl? Men. Men are typically okay. What about like moving things forward sexually? Usually men. Oh, okay. So if all these burdens <laughs> fall on men, can it's it not a burden if you're trying to get casual sex. That's you trying to get casual sex from a woman. If that's a burden, yeah, then but, don't do okay, it. It is a burden. <laughs> it is a burden because all of these I individual think. steps are potential points of rejection. So a woman could reject any one of these points. Okay, so could a man. Okay, so going up, going up, you know, doing the approach. Mm hmm. Okay, oh my god. Prometheus oh, donated one hundred dollars. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3, that's shout not out. Okay, we're gonna get approached by women at bars. I mean, that's just simply not true. But <laughs> okay, some men who are exceptionally attractive may get approached at a bar. However, I would argue that like an average woman is getting as much attention in terms of the frequency with which she's getting approached as like a really attractive guy. Because that's just the dynamic between men and women. Men are the initiators, and women really aren't initiating like that. Some women do, but it's exceedingly rare. Can I initiate the going home process? Shut the fuck up. Hold on, off. we're almost done. We're almost done. Me? We're almost done. We're almost done. Look. Is that 15 minutes? Like 15 more minutes? minutes? No, he said 15 minutes, Bruh, 40 minutes ago. This is cruel and unusual punishment, bro. 
your mom mm. is cruel and unusual God, punishment. For real, bro. Fucking she, she roasted. She got creative with it, bro. Like, she like, Look, every step of the way, there's multiple, you know, from the approach to asking for the number, texting, planning the first date, whether it's online or in person, going for the first kiss, moving things forward sexually, all, all these various steps. These are each, there's like dozens of potential points of rejection that om, that men almost exclusively face. So just on that basis alone, it's harder for men to get laid than it is for women. Again, I just, I think that it's okay. kind of like, a, I think I, we're never going to agree on this because I think that it's like fairly equal and I don't think fairly that... Fairly equal. I do. And I don't think that men having to actually have conversations with women makes it harder for men to get laid. I mean, if you're like a halfway decent dude and you just like aren't a dick, you could probably just, get laid. <laughs> okay. So just be halfway decent dude. Yeah, I mean, at a bar, like, I've seen some crazy scenarios. I'm sure everybody else at the table has, too. Let me ask you a question. How many sure. men have you rejected? Me? Oh, my God, I have no idea. Hundreds? Thousands. Thousands? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go around the table really quick. Here. Oh, my God. Here. Show of hands. No. Show of hands. Show of hands. Have you rejected more than 100 men? Perhaps. I've never rejected. even talked to yeah. I mean, men. are we talking like men how that follow dudes, you down the street? How many, dude, yeah. like, yeah. how many dudes time, have like, approached you? How many dudes great. have slid into your DMs? If any it's of you great. have had dating apps, <laughs> how many guys have you not like you, know, you not swiped on? Or how about you matched with, but then just like it didn't work out? But it, ulti men. ultimately, let's say in person and, you know, women reject men more than the reverse. So on that basis alone, it's harder for men to get laid. If women reject, if, if, okay, let me put it to you this way. If you've rejected more men <laughs> than have men rejected you, simply by virtue of that dynamic, it's harder for men to get laid. C can I go? Hold on. I think you have to agree with Dude, him. Bro, bro, if you want, just go. Just go, go, just okay, go yeah, if you yeah, want to fucking okay. go. No, 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 no. Don't be like that, bro. My mom gets mad when I come late, bro. She, she, she gets hella mad, bro. Okay, but you don't, you're just being kind of obnoxious about it. So go. If no, you have to go, then go. Okay, so. Okay, uh, um, follow Nev. Shut up, dude. Okay, so. Nev the robot on Instagram. I'm sorry, guys. My mom. Hi, Nev. Nice to meet yeah, you. My mom just gets mad, bro. My You're mom's good. like the devil, bro. Like, you don't understand. That's fine. If you gotta go, excuse yourself, but we don't need you talking about okay. fucking anime and no, 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 just no, no. interrupting and stuff. Okay. Okay, so. I'm not gonna keep everybody here. I'll agree. <laughs> okay. She has a seat cushion. Why does she have a seat cushion? Because she's short. I have one too. This seems way comfier. Okay. <laughs> okay. Last thing here. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Bye. Show of hands here. Have you rejected more men than you have been rejected by men? Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Hell yeah. So to me, that would indicate that dating is harder for men, getting laid is harder for men. If you reject more men than the reverse, like if you reject more men than you are getting rejected by men, then that necessarily means that dating and getting laid is harder for men. I mean, I said like a while ago that it might be slightly more difficult, but like I still don't think. It's not just slightly think, though. But I, but it's I not think just that. Slightly. I mean, I, I think that though. I Let don't think question. that it's Could that you... difficult to like, approach a woman and have a conversation it's, with them. Like that, I don't think that that's privileged, difficult. It's a very privileged position to say it's really not that difficult to approach women and get laid. It's really not that difficult when you don't need to approach, you don't need to approach men to get laid because you can just pick from all the men that are coming to you. But some of the times they're kind of not that cute. Yeah, but you at least have a pool of options a that are coming to you. A pool of options that I don't want. Low quality <laughs> men. That, but that, that only reinforces my point that it's harder. If, if there's all these men that you don't want that would otherwise happily sleep with you, it's harder for men to get laid. Okay. But this idea that it's only slightly harder, like, I don't think you underestimate. Yes, I agree like, with you. You underestimate. Like <laughs> any single girl here at this table could walk into a club, walk up to a guy, and just be like, "Hey, do you want to fuck?" Honestly, that's so a guy powerful. could not do that. <laughs> a guy could not go up to a chick, <laughs> profound, straight up. Hey, do you want to fuck? It's not. It's not gonna happen. But why do you want to watch? Hold on, hold on. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Amy, do you want to fuck tonight? Are you down to hook up tonight? 
Oh, saved by the fucking From TTS. Atheist donated $100. Reality says it is difficult for men to approach women at bars or clubs. Last chat, I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Prometheus. Reality. Uh, I, I said no. Essie, would you like to hook up tonight? Um, no, I'm sorry. Whoa, hold, hold on. <laughs> willing, I'm willing here. <laughs> But the, I've just been rejected by two women at the oh, stable. Oh, the horror. I'm oh, deeply no. hurt. I'm, I'm heartbroken. It is tough. It Must is be tough. hard out should there. I, should I keep asking all the other girls? No, no, no. Who's in a relationship? Okay.